Thank you very much for coming to respond to my uh, question today, Minister. As you're aware, in early September you came down to Limerick to Kuna. Uh, where there was flooding and it happened on a Friday evening and you had about 25 houses that were flooded and the water came into their ecosystems and some of them into their homes. You also had the flooding in the Pearshik and also I know that the, um, the aircraft in the flying um, area outside in Kuna, the Kuna airfield was flooded as well. Both the hangar and several aircraft were damaged. So my understanding, Minister, is that um, while there has been great progress in terms of, we'll say, people being compensated or looked after, and a number of issues have been resolved around Nipirshik, around the um, airfield, I understand that that's nearly conclusion, but my understanding is there's a number of homes have not, um, you know, and, and how they're going to be sorted out have not been sorted out. And also, I suppose at the time, um, you stated yourself that there would be an investigation as to, you know, how this happened, how, you know, um, the cause behind it and what was going to happen maybe in terms of maybe flood defence or in terms of how to resolve the issue ongoing because it's not the first time the Kuna and this particular part of Kuna that flooded. And, um, you know, I, I'd like to thank you, Minister, because certainly when we did contact you on the day, you were very quick to respond and you came down yourself to see firsthand how the residents were affected and how everybody was affected, really, I suppose, across the sporting um, club as well as the residents. But my concern really is that a number of issues have not been resolved in terms of the residents. And maybe to give an update as to where you think it's at and, and how long it's going to be before it's finally resolved. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Minister. I'd like to thank the Senator for giving me the opportunity to come into the Senate and give an explanation on where we are. The Office of Public Works undertakes routine inspections of all flood defences along the Shannon Estuary. During the routine inspection by the OPW staff, the River Shannon Flood Defence Embankment System damage to the sluice outfall was noted. The function of the sluice outfall allows for the discharge of water from the area protected by the embankment to the estuary. During the high tide, prevented tide the high tide prevented tidal waters in the estuary entering into the protected area. While repair works had been started in mid-August, due to the forecast of high tides, emergency repair works was carried out on Friday the 30th and Saturday the 31st of August. Unfortunately, these temporary works failed and the water breached the embankments. The OPW has now reconstructed an embankment at the breached area and has continued to monitor the area in its current consideration of opinion of constructing a replacement to the sluice control. The OPW acknowledged that in trying to repair the damage to the sluice, the temporary structure did not initially provide the appropriate level of protection and did lead to the flooding in the area. I visited the area on Saturday the 1st of September. I met with those affected. I want to take the opportunity again to thank the affected homeowners for their ongoing support or ongoing cooperation. The OPW were in contact with the local authorities over the weekend in question and sandbags were provided to the affected household and several pumps were deployed to the area. I want to acknowledge and pay a tribute to the council and to their staff and to the people that helped out in the area and the response to the incident. In trying to agree a redress for the incident, the OPW acted promptly at all times. In the week immediately following the incident, the OPW met and wrote to those homeowners and apologised for the damage to their homes and the context caused by the situation. In that week, the OPW offered interim payment to the homeowners directly affected by the flood event so they could indicate alternative rental accommodation if required and start restoring their homes to their pre-flood conditions. The OPW also appointed a law adjuster, a loss adjuster to visit the affected homes in the week following the incident and the OPW contacted the State Claims Agency which on behalf of the State is managing the claims for those affected homeowners as well as the GEA Club and the Limerick Flying Club. The State Claims Agency is working with the homeowners affected by this event to help establish the quantum of cost in restoring the houses and the contents affected to their pre-flood position. Many of those affected have engaged in their own loss assessor and the state is covering the cost of that service. The law adjuster has also visited the GEA club 
and the Limerick Flying Club towards agreeing a quantum of cost to restore their facility to pre-flood position. Given the numbers of houses and facilities involved, <coughs> the reason, uh, reasons of privacy and confidentiality, the OPW cannot make comment on further details in relation to this matter. Thank you, Minister. Senator. Yeah. Um, thanks very much, Lasko here looking. Thank you, Minister. I suppose I too want to pay tribute to the Council staff because they worked extremely hard that weekend and the staff from your own department, um, Minister, that came to visit. But I know I was in a house within the last week. They've still got a port loo sitting in their front garden. They've got small children, they have a baby. I just think under health and safety grounds, the sooner that, you know, a conclusion can be brought about. And, you know, I know some people have been sorted out, but it's just, you know, have you any idea how long more it's going to take? Because we're now in the month of, I suppose, December. And as you said yourself, it was the 1st of September and it's three months. And I understand that sometimes there's maybe queries over costs or whatever, you know, but I do think that under health and safety grounds, and there was 25 houses affected in total, even though five for it to be evacuated, um, you know, that the sooner it can be resolved, I think that for everybody the better. So maybe you could take that back to your department, Minister, if that's okay. I will indeed, Senator, and uh, if you have any issues or if you've named, you might let them know to my department, but as you know, the way these things somewhat form, you know, there's individuals and uh, that need the help and we provided the assistance to give that help and there has to be I suppose the legalities that's been taking place at the present time that has to take course. I want to make sure that everybody gets looked after and that's why my visit down to Limerick that particular day to met yourself and a number of other of your colleagues down there and I assured the people down there that I would do whatever is necessary to make them feel that they get back in Trump and their homes would be uh, 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 the funding would be available to them. OPW are, I know are working closely not just with the, the, the people's home but also working with the local authority but I can assure you that like we are in the time of Christmas and I want to see everyone enjoy Christmas, the last thing I want people are contacting you and worried and concerned on the future where the light is. So based on what you've said here to me today, I will take that with me. I will get on to my uh, people back in, in, in office and we'll get on the bandwagon seat. Can we remedy at the problem? Thanks very okay. much, Minister. Thank you, Minister.